What's up? We have Tom Bragg and Mike Funk, writer, producer, Tom Bragg, and actor uh, Tom uh, Mike Funk up there. Uh, nice to have yes, you sir. in our homes. Uh, so we, we're not in the studio, so this is the next best thing, isn't it? Yes, very cool. Glad to be here. So we had uh, Mark Clawberg on the other uh, on one of the episodes uh, with the main actors from his, his new movie, but we we also talked about the movie that he directed that you wrote and then you starred in. So why don't we get off the bat and start talking about Crazy for the Blonde? Um, Crazy for the Blonde, yes. For the Blonde. So uh, this, this is your newest film that's out there, Tom. Yes. Uh, and uh, when you were, what what went through your head to write this script? How did you come up with um, a particular script that it, you went around, I know, at the film festivals? Yeah, you know, I was on a site called Inktip, I-N-K-T-I-P. I don't know if you're familiar with it. No. You can oh, play yes, 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 I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah I, I think you. I think they were a sponsor for you, maybe, or a lot of festivals they're a sponsor for. No. Um, Certainly they were. That's right. A few years ago we did. And you go on there, you, you could either pay to put a feature script on there, or for free you could put short synopsises on there. Hmm. And some guy uh, from LA uh, supposedly liked my stuff, and I got in touch with him, and he he wanted to know if I could write something to do with serial killers, and I did. And there was a couple of reasons why he passed on a script. I, I wrote the script. I thought it was in my wheelhouse. Yeah. He wanted he wanted me to go more violent. Oh really? And less sexual overtones, and I wanted to keep it the sexual overtones less violence. And that was like three, four years ago, maybe I wrote it. I said, one day, one day I'll shoot the script. I'll find somebody. We'll shoot the script. Uh, I mean, what made me write it? That's my favorite genre, dark comedy and horror together. Mixed together, I like things like American Psycho. Uh, I love Dexter. It has a little uh, comedy streak to it also. And um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's how I came up with it. And uh, Mike, then uh, how did it get you into this film? I know you guys work together. Oh, but how, how did this come about, this one particular one? This came, this came about, I would say, I think right after we filmed Photo Kill. Um, Tom presented me to, you know, with the script of Crazy for the Blonde. It's been in the works for years. Yeah. And I read it. I, I, I really dug the script. But there's uh, the one scene, CJ, I'm sure you, you, you've seen the film, I think, right? That's what that one. <laughs> Yes, it's, the it's, scene where probably could not show the, students this film. <laughs> so he, he tells me to read for Petey, and I'm reading, and I get up to that scene. I'm like, I'm going, oh, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> so, so we ended up doing um, to be normal. Oh, and perfect. he's like, and then he, he's like, you know, and this is like a year apart now. You know, and he's like, I'm going to send you that script again. Crazy for the blonde. It's like, you read it. I want you to, I want you to read it again. I go, ah, I don't think you're, I don't think you sent it to me. He's like, no, I sent it to you. You read it. I go, are you sure? I'm like, I'm telling you, you didn't send me the script. So I'm reading it and it sounds, it looks familiar. I'm getting, you know, the first page. I'm like, it seems very familiar. And then I get to that scene and I'm like, oh, I, I must have blocked it out of my head. Cause I was like. <laughs> But after I read that script for the, you know, the second time, the second time around, I'm like going, how, why did I say no? <laughs> I'm like, this is brilliant. This is amazing. Let's do it. And, uh, and uh, when you, when, so you agreed to do it uh, at that point? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was, I called him right after. I'm like, let's, let's do this crazy film. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was always the first on board. Yeah. Really, he was first one on board. Okay, and then uh, and then, yeah. and then you convinced uh, Mark Klauberg to direct it. Yeah, uh, you know, we were going back and forth. We had a uh, another director, you know, good director. We just kind of figured maybe he wasn't perfect for the short. He's very talented, you know, and he shoots his own stuff. Very, very talented. And then we, I did ask a few other people. Um, well, I had a few other people in mind. Yeah, I, I didn't think Mark would want to shoot mind because he writes himself yeah because alex aldea was was saying you know why don't you ask mark why you know ask mark? Has his own writing but lately he's been you know doing other work yeah so yeah at the time he wasn't though so i, I figured he he wouldn't want to do it because he shoots yeah. his own stuff mm -hmm. so that's that's why i was reluctant to ask him at first and um 
finally said yes, and that's that's where it, where it took off. You know, right after that. Uh, we were, so at that point, we had Mike, we had Alex Aldea, and then Mike said, um, you know, we had, a, we had a little trouble finding the blonde, actually. I was holding it up. Was there a lot of casting for it? Uh, no. I was just trying to find people I knew first. Yeah. Uh, there was one actress who I wanted from the very beginning, but she dyed her hair red. No. So that obviously didn't work. Red hair didn't work. Yeah. Blonde. <laughs> and uh, I, I offered it to a couple of people. I offered it to one person. They didn't read it or they did and maybe didn't like it. I don't know. But in the meantime, during all that, Mike said, you know, I know this girl I worked with a, a few years ago, Kristen Murai. Um, she would be good. You know, and I'm, she looked at Park. She was tall. She was blonde. And I saw her real. And I was I thought there was no way we, we were going to actually get her because she was so talented. And um, and you did it. Yeah. Then two weeks later, after after the other person who had the script out to didn't get back to me, I I said, Mike, we gotta, you know, ask Kristen if he wants to do Mike, it. Did you convince yeah. her with that scene? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I I know Kristen. I like she's an actress. You know, she's like a real deal actress. And and I I knew, and I told Tom, like this girl's gonna jump at the script, man. Yeah. She's gonna jump at it. And yeah. she read it, and literally, when I told him I was sending it over to her and stuff, uh, he's like, "Did you send it?" I said, "Yeah." And with a quick turnaround, very quick turnaround, she said, "Yes." Yeah, yeah. Uh, most uh, you know, most actors and actresses will say they love uh, a part, and um, but she wrote back to me. She said, I, "I love this fucking script. I'm obsessed with it." And as soon as I got that reaction, I was like, "Oh, we got, we got, we got to get this girl." And then she came down to the read. Yeah. And I goosebumps the entire time. It was like it. She was she was perfect for the part. <laughs> yeah. How long how long did it take you to shoot this film? Well, it was it was slow because the first we we shot in uh, March of 2019 was the first shoot, and then we had to wait a month. I think Mark was Mark Clarberg was shooting his other film, uh, the time between the second in between the seconds, which is a phenomenal film. Yeah, which Mike is in. He has a bit part in that. He is. Um, <laughs> then after that, it was pretty quick. I mean, we shot in March, then maybe the end of April. I think some shoots in May. Not 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 too long to shoot. Stretched out maybe yeah. three months, but not three months of shooting. Three months of waiting for the next shoot. Yeah. 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 You uh, would would you ever think of making this short into a feature film? Um. You, you done with it? Moved on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, um, um, no, I really haven't thought of it as a feature, but um, yeah, if someone came to me and said, "Can you make a feature out of this?" I, I'm, I'm sure we could. Well, sometimes you have that feature in mind, right? While you do the short, but then sometimes you might just want to move on. It just depends, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Sometimes you're done with an idea, you're, you already explored it, and that's pretty much it creatively. But um, yeah, as I said, if someone came to me, came to us, and said, "You want to, you want to." Um, make this into a feature, yeah, I'm going to jump at it, sure. Yeah. I think there's, there's more exploration for Mike's character, Petey, and and Howard, who Alex plays, and Kristen. Yeah, I think there's more more of a story there. Yeah, yeah. You could almost do it like a Pulp Fiction, almost, when you go back, like, start and go back. and I like circular circular storytelling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Instead of non, non-linear, non-linear storytelling, yeah. Non-linear, yeah. I could see that as a linear uh, feature. Yeah, no, definitely, yes. Like chapters, yes, I could see it. Definitely. Um, so you guys have worked together how many times now? It's been a while, right? Uh, quite a few films. Four films. Four. Uh, he, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, uh, four. Yeah. yeah, four films. No, uh, yeah, the first one was um, Help Wanted. Big League Films, Help Wanted, directed by Lance Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah what that one was funny. Uh, someone dropped dropped out of the movie, and we needed somebody. F- like in a week's notice. Yeah. And we looked at a bunch of reels and Mike just jumped out. You know, definitely the guy. Yeah. Mike has a way of jumping off the screen for sure. So is that the first time you guys knew each other or you knew each yeah, other? Yeah, once was like 2013. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then um, yeah, it's the first the first time we've ever worked together. Yes. First, first, first I didn't know Tom at all. At all. Yeah. And then after a few years we did um photo kill. Yeah, Photo Kill was a big one for you guys. That was a lot of festivals. I've yeah. seen it a million yeah. times. 
like 52, I think, 52 festivals. Wow. And then To Be Normal, another one by uh, Lake Films. Yeah, that went around. They yeah. Went around a lot of festivals. Very locally, yes, yes, it did. It did well locally. And then, uh, and then this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would ask Mike to be in whatever script I write, whatever next script I come up with. I'll, even if it's not a big part, I, I would offer it to him. Yeah. Yeah, so Thank uh, you. I, I would, and <laughs> likewise, man, I would be in anything you're right, man. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I know now everything had it was on, it was going well with the film and festivals, and now everything's at like a standstill. All the festivals are canceled or moved to the uh fall. Uh, were you expecting like a, a, like a big summer uh, festival route coming up or spring? Big festival, what I'm sorry, a lot of festivals coming up for the film. Uh, you know, I did, well, there were three or four that are probably going to play in, and now it's all yeah, good. yeah. It's like Manhattan Film Festival was supposed to be in April, I think they moved back to June, so who knows if that's happening. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll move again. Uh, Garden State Film Festival went virtual, they went online, which is a fun big festival, as you know. Yeah, I watched it, I watched it online while it was playing. Yes, yes, you wrote me, that was cool. At least someone was watching. It looked good, it looked good online, it did. It cool. was good. Okay job with it so as they had to put that together it was it was pretty good no they did it pretty quickly too yeah they pulled it off well so uh, but uh, yeah another festival uh festival one of my favorites hang on to your shorts yeah that's that's gonna be in uh september I that's the, the name of it <laughs> but anyway yes move to september one of my favorites i'm glad um you guys were able to move it because you know instead of canceling it all together which is um we, that was the only weekend that was open actually in September. Yeah. So that was it. There was no other times. Um, it gets busy around Asbury Park around that time. So there's weddings and, and parties and everything, all booked. Right. That was the only weekend. So we had to take it. Mm. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll, we'll have fun in, uh, in September. Yes. Big party. Big party. Party. And by then, everybody's going to be ready to party too. So we have Hopefully. Like, the bright yeah. side. The right side's in August. I'm worried about that. I hope we, I, but I think I'm thinking that might be the first one back. Yeah, could be. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that might. That that's kind of what I'm hoping. Hoping that's the first one we can all go. Even if you guys don't have a film, come and enjoy and have a good yeah, time. Sure, of you course, man. Don't know if you if you have, do you have anything in the mix that's already done, or you took a break? I mean, I mean, the only other thing I really have going around is, as you know. Uh, the Bathing Bandits, I think, mean, still still being entered in festivals. Yeah, that's also going to play Hang Out to Your Shorts as well. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, directed by Larry Rosen, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I love that movie. But, um, yeah, nothing else. That's it for now, for me. So you're, you're writing now? You're, you're writing? And I, I'm, I'm really not writing right now. I, I'm, I'm um, The next one I plan on producing with a budget is uh, maybe next year a script called Layers, yeah. which hopefully Mark Clarberg will direct, which is the plan right now. I have read that script. Yes, yes, it did win best script at um, Hang On To Your Shorts. Yeah, that was a good um, script. But, um, right, Mike, or did you read that one yet? No, I don't think I have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll get you a part. Wait, did, did, I don't think you sent that to me. I don't think I've read that. Uh, maybe not. It's about a overweight, yeah. overweight guy who meets a girl at a um, ice cream parlor. Sounds like my life. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll I'll gain fifty pounds, man. Yeah. Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that's. Uh, but hopefully, I come up with something in the meantime. Hopefully, my bank teller story, which was true. <laughs> which was that? I would go to the bank because I like the bank teller. Oh, yes. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a great story. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't a story, but I was like. I, perfect dark comedy, romantic comedy kind of story. I love that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you go to a bank just to visit this girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see. But, uh, I mean, hopefully I could write something else that someone else might want to shoot. I mean, that would be cool. That would be uh, the, you know, the perfect plan. Yeah. In, the, in the meantime, before the next one. But you never know. You never know. Uh, we were. Just, I was just talking to Chris McDonald before, and right. you no, know, you just keep at it and see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of crazy things that's been going on. And 2020 seemed like it was blown up in the beginning. We were having a great start to the year, and then you know everything just that was it. So yep. hopefully, I, I'm guessing. I'm hoping when this is all over, everyone's going to have written material and want to film and go crazy. So I, I think it's pretty I, busy. 
Mike, I think it'll be pretty busy for you <laughs> when it's all. I, yeah, it'll be great. I'm looking forward to get back, man. I, I was supposed to film a short film uh, right before everything just halted. Um, just a one day shoot short film and uh, we'll see when that happens. And I'm on board for a feature uh, called, called Dr. K that's directed by Fred Carpenter. We were supposed to go uh, in production in May and now it looks like June, but who, who knows? I don't know when this is, yeah, when that's going to happen, man. Yeah, nobody but, uh, I can't wait to get back. I, I'm kind of bored here, you know? And it's only been about a couple, a couple of weeks and we're all like starting to lose it already. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, I audition. I, I do so many auditions and I, you know, I book a small percentage of them. Yeah. But I, I miss, I miss, I just miss going to auditions, you know? It's like, have I just you done miss any, it. any online auditions for future, like films coming up in the future? Have you done any? Yeah, I just, I did a, um, a lot of casting directors. I just did one for Patricia McCorkle. Um, she's done, she's very big. Uh, I think she did Die Hard. She did a lot of Hollywood blockbuster films. And I just uh, sent in two contrasting monologues today to her. She's just she's doing a general casting right now because I think they're they just want to see who's out there at yeah. this because they're not auditioning constantly so they have all this free downtime and they're looking at now the people sending tapes in and, and stuff like that yeah I have a couple more self tapes tomorrow they can really look into it and this really cast really well now so yeah exactly which is neat I guess yeah I mean, <laughs> so. I mean, yeah. What are you doing? What else? What other? Did you have films or uh, what were you? What do you have out there right now, um, other than uh, Crazy for the Blonde? I know you were working on a few things, or you can see your. Oh, um, I got time. To, the time between the seconds, from other, another Mark Lundberg film. Uh, they directed. Um, I have Honor Amongst Men, that is. It's a feature film with uh, stars Robert Clohesi. Um He's from the. Um, He's, he started way back in the in the eighties on Hill Street Blues. He's on Blue Bloods. He's been all, he's a veteran actor. Um, he was he was uh, Jude's uh, father in uh, Across the Universe, that Beatles film. Yeah. Across the Universe, yeah, it was a great film. He plays uh, Jude's father in that. Um, he's in the film. Um, Chuck Zito's in the film. We got Joan Jett. Um, Trying to think who else is in it. I, th I think Kevin, yeah, Kevin Brown, Kevin Brown from uh, like a, yeah, from, uh, um, the uh, Rock, Rock, uh, Rock. Yes, yeah, Thirty Rock, Thirty Rock, Thirty Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in it. Um, so we, we finished that. It's just now. It's just they're Long looking Island. to. What's that? It's the Long Islanders. <laughs> yeah, he, he's. They're just looking to see where they're going to fit it. You know, they're trying to look for a distribution deal. So it is. Um, you know, so you can't watch it yet. We can't see it. Is it film festivals or? No, I, we. It was in the Long Island Film Festival last summer, I believe. Um, and that's it. They're not doing the film festival circuit really. They're not pushing it that on that level. They're just. I guess they're just going for a distribution deal. Um, I just had. You know, I have a couple of films on on Amazon Prime that you could watch. You know, yeah. Thomas Dust and Charlie yeah. Mantle. Robert Cassie's in that one as well, and Robert Finero's in that. What about He's on vinyl. Definitely promote yeah. during this time so people can watch because that's what they want to do. Yeah. So if you have anything out there you want people to go and check out? Um, yeah, post it down there. Um, whatever. You guys right. You could you could follow me at uh, about about dot me forward slash Mike Funk. That's my my small little website, and you can follow me on there, and you can see my films and stuff like that. What about you, Tom? Do you have anything out there you want to promote to um, you know, people who go see anything on Amazon or? No. no. <laughs> Nothing on Amazon. <laughs> no. Not you, yet. You do want? Not yet. Well, all those films you did, where, where can we go see them? Are they out there? Wait, what, wait, what about uh, Photo Kill is on, is on yeah. the YouTube? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you want to go to Photo Kill, it's under, um, I think it's under Lake Fells. Is it? Do you know? I think you could probably just do a Google search, you know, photo kill or a YouTube search, photo kill. kill. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably pop up. P H O T O K I L L under Lake Films, photo kill. That's one of our uh, films that Mike was in, directed by Lance Rea. Uh, also, under the same heading, Lake Films is To Be Normal and and Help Wanted. It's also on there. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah. What, 
whatever yeah. happened to the, the the film that you wrote, uh, uh, Tom? That that was uh, filmed in England and we had at the festivals. Is that uh, all? Yes, that was that was a lot about five years ago. That was a uh, Dark Town. Dark Town. Yes. Yeah. Dark that, that's my site. That's Tom Bragg on uh, YouTube. Tom Bragg, B R A G G, and Dark Town. Yeah. on there. Yeah. All free on YouTube. That's cool. I, I, uh, I don't have to that was also made off that site I was talking about recently. Ink, ink, uh, ink tip, I N K T I P. Yeah. Oh, that was where you got that. From. They read one of my. They read one of my synopsises or yeah. synopsis, whatever they call a plural. Synopsis. 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 Yeah, they read one of those, and um, you liked it. Yeah, you shot it in England. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, do you still use that site? Uh, not lately, but I will use it in the future again for sure. Yes, it's a good site. Yeah, I mean, I like you can put your short synopsis on there for free. I mean, what's not what's not to like? Why not, right? Or, yeah. or if you want to, I, if you want to put your feature on there too, you 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 know there there is a price for it, a fee like sixty dollars for like four or five months or something like that, and production companies click on it if they like it, if they like the synopsis. So they can read your entire script also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. So um, anything else? Uh, well, before we wrap up and everything, can you guys, uh, for my film students out there that are that will be watching this, uh, um, yeah. give them some advice in the industry, uh, maybe uh, you as a writer, Tom, um, uh, and how you go about with, with your things. And then, uh, and then Mike, about you as an actor, because we have, we have actors, filmmakers, artists, singers, and all that. We have everything. So, well, you play music too, so that could be good for the musicians. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to start, Tom, and just yeah, as a screenwriter, I would say, and I tell everybody this who, who says they want to write a screenplay or they're just starting out, uh, don't wait to be perfect. You know, just do it. Um, if you have a scene, if you have a scene in your head, and that was the 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 uh the germ of the idea just write that scene first and then then write around it it doesn't have to be perfect just that gem of an idea um yeah just do it just write it could be in the middle of the script it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be good it could be total crap just just do it just get in the habit of writing something and you know, same thing with filmmaking. Just pick up your, your camera, whatever it is. Don't wait to get a better camera. Just shoot with the camera you have, because it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Just keep working, right? Keep working. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What about you, Mike? Um, for you know, when I started out, I started uh, went to as a musician. I started. I'm trying to make. I'm going to wrap this up quick. Yeah. But uh, I, I studied film scoring at Berkeley College of Music. And I had this epiphany about me being an actor and I came back to New York and I enrolled into an acting class. Didn't think, you know, it was a Meisner technique class. I said, let me see how this I fare. And, you know, and I actually fell in love with this class and, and, and the acting. And I'm like, I just finished the course. I took the course straight through. It was a two year course. I then studied about two more years of scene study work. And I was just started hitting the pavement and auditioning. I was doing background work. I, I done a lot of background work. I was always on Sex in the City. Um, every TV show that was on television back in the probably early 2000s, I was on. Yeah. And just getting familiar with the, the set, seeing, you know, a lot of times you could be really close to the director and you just watch everything and you could really learn a lot. Um, I learned. I learned. Just getting to do that behind the scenes stuff because I was doing extra work and I learned everything because I was watching. The yeah, movie. I learned it. That's how I, did. I actually even afterwards. I even when I was as an actor, I, I was doing short films. I was doing some theater stuff. I I was a production assistant on uh, a couple of films, a short film and a uh, a feature film, uh, both produced by Glass Eye Picks and. Um, Ron Perlman was in, in, in the feature film, and uh, uh, Don, Dominic Monaghan was in that film as well. And that was for me to be a production assistant on that, that movie set. I, I learned a tremendous amount of everything. It was just it was a free college course yeah. of it all. So I, my advice is to 
if you're an actor, study. You definitely have to study. And I, I wouldn't piecemeal. I wouldn't study a little bit here to take a break. I think you should really just study straight through. I think you, you, it's beneficial that way. And uh, get on set somehow, background, even production assistant, and just 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 keep learning and keep and keep doing it. I had some students that are interested in score, so they had a good at music and filmmaking and writing and all that. So they really wanted to focus on uh, scoring films. So I do have a yeah. few that actually do that, um, and then they uh, they like they they learn that music really changes the film. So they've been going out. Oh, yeah. Since they are students, it's a little bit easier, but they've been going out and asking like bands, uh, can we use your film for our student film? And usually they get in okay. And then yeah, yeah. Instead of paying them a thousand dollars, which we would have to do. <laughs> totally. Of- yeah. So, Smart. Yeah. That's very cool. That's what they've been doing. Um, what about uh, uh, Tom, when, when you were writing, do you ever think of music while you're writing music for the film or do you leave that up to the, the person that's doing a score or things like that or do you do you picture I mean, ultimately i leave it up to the person who's doing the film but yeah i think of my own score while while i'm writing mm-hmm. i mean i i act the scenes out while i'm writing i can hear the music while i'm writing yes but, but ultimately i leave it up to the, the person who's doing the music and in this last uh, crazy the blonde is done by pete pete lasowski yes. uh, who's good friends of mark Kloberg, and and i loved his all his off kilter um score makes the movie so much better that's why i leave it up to those guys because they do it so much better than i can imagine well it it, it, it really does change the film but it, it the, the score is amazing and it really helps tell the story it does especially for crazy for the blonde but um it's it's got everything in that so um hopefully people can see that soon but um in the film festivals uh, um we'll see when that when it starts playing again right so uh yes after that it'll probably be on youtube <laughs> <laughs> yes but uh, um, but we'll see. So uh, that's that, that's really cool. So hopefully, uh, when these film festivals start picking up again, we'll get to see Crazy for the Blonde again. Even though I've seen it a million times, but a lot of people haven't. So uh, get a little anticipation for it there. So they yeah. got your little YouTube pages down here, uh, so people can go to Crazy for the Blonde and go to. Uh, ah, I see. There's oh. a Umbrag YouTube page. Very cool. Yeah. No, they on there they could see. Um uh, help wanted on my page. Mm-hmm. The other one, I, if you can find, is Lake Films or Lance J. Raya. Uh, then there you can see um, Photo Kill and To Be Normal. Yeah, and that's uh, is, isn't dar- isn't your film Darktown on Dark YouTube? Town. Darktown's on my YouTube page. Matter of fact, Help, help Wanted's on on Lake Films. So I'm sure that uh, people that are listening or will be watching later, um, they'll want to go check out your work and, and there see. it is. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah. And can I just say, can I just say something real quick? I just want to like about dark town because yeah. you know, I, I, I know Tom's writing and stuff like that. And I've been around him a while and to, to see his writing, um, you know, from on a different level, like, uh, you know, from a different country and how these actors work up with the script, somebody that doesn't, he doesn't know f- doesn't know any of these guys and just produced his film. It's it, you, you could just see a very, it's a whole different take on, you know, what it's just kind of neat to see that, which is kind of yeah. cool. And especially with these English actors with their, their accent, talking his, talking his dialogue, it's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah. It was a little strange. Cause they interpreted certain lines a little differently. Yeah. Because, but it's, it's well done. It's yeah, really no, well done. That film. No, no, shot on a red cam. It was guy, it was the guy, the director's first movie. Like, uh, yeah. You got, you got a really, really good crew. I was impressed with it. You changed some of your English slang into like <laughs> the, your 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 slang, the American slang, into like. No, he left it that way a lot of it, and just sounded weird. It sounded weird. weird. <laughs> he, you know, he didn't change it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's one line it's supposed to be. Ah, oh, he goes. He goes. What's your name? And the guy goes, uh, Ron. He goes. Oh, I, I took you for like a uh, a Ralph or a Bob. So they train they they change Bob because I guess that's uh, Bobby is a is a cop there. Uh, so yeah. the reason they let Bob out, yeah. and, and so that joke just like I don't know, it just sounded strange. It was it wasn't, it wasn't exactly the same bounce that I wrote it. Uh, and you know, but they did a good job. The actors did a good job. The English actors, man, they're they're, they're good. Yes, no, no, it's really cool. 
they're uh, Walking Dead. They're all English actors taken over. <laughs> yeah, English, English or Australian, yes. Or Australian. Crazy. And they're good. They're talented, and they could do that uh, American accent really well. Yes, you wouldn't know. Bastards. Oh, you you got to do you got to do the English accent, the Australian accents there. I'm sure you could do that. <laughs> Oh, that's like that. you after, he does it after a few hours of hanging out with him. He thinks it's a pretty accent, but it's really, it's really an Australian accent. Yeah, the, learn an Australian accent. Go on all interviews as, as an Australian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I'll be working all the time, man. I'll be working all the time. A good American accent, man. <laughs> Yeah, you had a, you have sort of a different uh, speech, sort of a different accent, and crazy for the blonde. How did you come up with that? Well, it's it's in a script as it's like uh, if Tom, it does it say a southern drawl in it? I forgot the specifics. Yeah. And um, I just really fell into fell in love with that character trait, and I listened to. Oh. I, you know, my one thing is I don't like listening to movies or other actors like fame, you know, celebrities, act, real actors uh, doing a, a dialogue, you know, the, the accents and stuff like that. I try to find real, real like uh, copies of video or something like that. So I, I searched YouTube is, is fantastic. And um, I have a couple of dialect, dialect uh, uh, books that I've used with some CDs. Um, that's another great tool. I have a couple of those. And they actually phonetically break down words and how to say them with their diphthong and all this stuff. And I mean, it's pretty involved. But a lot of it, too, is just jumping in with cold feet and just doing it. Like, just have fun with it. And because you could overthink these things. And I, I feel like it could you know, hinder the performance. And I think it's just, uh, yeah, I, I, I had a blast with it. You know, it's, it's it, part of me as being an actor. I, I, I like the preparation, uh, leading up to the actual filming. Um, it's, you're creating this, it's, it's a whole creative process to it. You know, it's not just showing up on set and speaking some lines, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot more than that. And, uh, to build that character PD was really fun. I had the, you know, the freedom to actually um, build the wardrobe and, and all that stuff from, the, from the, the ground up. I got these boots. I showed Tom the boots. I showed, you know, uh, the director, the boots, showed everybody, you know, who was the director and Tom, uh, the wardrobe stuff for the okay. But uh, it was fun building that character, you know, from the wardrobe perspective. Um, to the to the vocal to the I, I grew out my hair for that and uh, <laughs> it's just I just wanted this guy was crazy man you know he's yeah. he, they're all crazy they're, they're all, all crazy they're crazy they're crazy you know? <laughs> even even the blonde even even Kristen's character she's crazy man she's like putting herself in a situation of two crazy lunatics she's a lunatic <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah, Mike works hard. He he, uh, he definitely puts a lot into the characters. Yeah, and, uh, and it's great having you guys on. So uh, it's very helpful and informative for people out there. And I hope they go and check out your stuff. And uh, I just want to say thanks for being on Cullen on Film, another episode. Thank, thank yes. you. Yes. And I'm glad you're doing this. Very cool. Thanks. And very I Very cool, man. Guys soon, I hope. I hope very soon. Yes, it will. Awesome. We'll all have to just make something. Yes. Love to. Thanks. I'm, I'm going to give you a big hug and kiss when I see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just want to give a shout This is going to be shown to your students. Yeah. They're going to see it. They're going to see it as well. And uh, and it's going right. to there. We're going to make a whole little uh, page of it because we're, we're a bunch of episodes in now. So it's pretty cool. Cool. A bunch well, of just to give a shout out to your students, you know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. They've That's been very cool. All of them yeah. so far, and we're going to watch this one and, uh, you know, been cutting it up in the half hour, uh, a little over a half hour, I guess sometimes, uh, segments, and uh, we'll awesome. see what happens with it. So I, I, I urge your students to keep on going. I saw some of the, your, um, your, your film festival on. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can go on uh, North TV Film Productions uh, on uh, on YouTube and check out our film festival. And I saw a lot of this stuff, too, at festivals, too. Nice. Like um, uh, two, the one I did, two rivers, uh, Indie Street. Indie Street. Yeah. 
any stream saw a bunch of those. We got some newer ones out now. So uh, every, everything on YouTube now is their new stuff. Yes. So uh, you got to check out uh, we uh, some students did a Star Wars uh, fan film. Oh, I did see some of that. Yes. It's, it's pretty amazing. They didn't get to finish it, but we just used what they have because, you know, we just had to stop. They were almost done filming. They had about two days left of filming and yeah. they edited it, but we just cut cut it like the intro as a short. So it's, it was supposed to be like 10, 15 minutes long, but it, it, it's a good, I told them it's good. As a, no, the lifesavers look great. You know, yeah. So they worked really hard on that. So uh, hopefully we'll get in the festivals and we'll see, even if there's online, uh, you know, I don't care, but there, a lot of them are graduating. So I'd like hopefully get, get to see some film festivals before. But that's the only sad thing about all of them. Yeah. So, um, well, thanks for coming on guys. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Hope Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. Yeah.